And the news about Messi making his way to Miami reverberated around the sports world. <laughs> now throw in the Miami Heat and Panthers in the finals. Plus, the Miami Marlins off to a pretty good start this season. It begs the question, is this our golden age of sports? CBS News Miami's Larry Seward jumped on a literal bandwagon <laughs> to find out. <laughs> Pots and pan clanging fans. As crazy for their team. Even in the rain, even if it's raining, I'm still gonna be here cheering on. As Victoria Sierralta. You are winners! Went delirious over a bandwagon surprise. As they made room. Miami's about to get messy. It's about to get messy in Miami. For one of the biggest names in sport, one of soccer's all time greats. Toyota Miami. Lionel Messi announced plans to play for Miami's Major League Soccer oh, yeah. side. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to check him out. I mean, we were talking about getting tickets and worried about maybe how much they would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about it. I think uh, we will win the championship <laughs> with Messi. Let's go. Let's go, South Florida. This comes as the Marlins field their own winner, led by second baseman Jose Arreyes, who owns the best batting average in Major League Baseball. This is great. Great time to be a South Floridian. Okay, Under throwback jerseys, fans wore layers of pride. In South Florida in general is just killing it. Between Nova Southeastern's national championship, the University of Miami and Florida Atlantic's final four runs, the Panthers in pro hockey Stanley Cup final. I think for Miami it's going up, it's going straight up. And the Heat hosting the NBA finals. Fans feel more great vibes than ever. That includes Heat star Mike Miller and DJ Iron. It gets no better. It really is the golden age. I think you summed it up perfectly. It doesn't take well, other organization and coaches long to look at what's been built, what's been happening. And you're right here in this city and understanding the identity and the culture that's been built here from top to bottom. I mean, it's it's uh, it's contagious. Hopefully everybody's catching on to the vibe with what's going on in South Florida right now with the, the Heat Panthers. Seems like the Marlins are feeding off of it. Need the Dolphins to feed off of that. This bandwagon full of Heat diehards scored wins of their own. And we're all going to the game! Yeah! Tickets to the Heat's game for Siralta. So freaking excited. We're gonna, I'm going to see them win. I'm going to see my opponent now. It's a gift almost as sweet as South Florida's fleet of winning teams. Fans think their banner year for the 305 is just getting started. They think the winning vibes are going to carry over into the fall, hopefully for the Miami Dolphins and the University of Miami Hurricanes football teams. Downtown, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.